We're just about set for kickoff. Chad Osbert back deep here on the near side to accept the kickoff from a Pike Valley. Man, Kato will have it first on offense. As we get underway here in the first quarter, there's the kick. It is a line drive end over in. Caught in the end zone by Lance Lippold. And it'll be a touchback to the 15-yard line. First and 10 for the Cougars. Well, Pike Valley won the toss, and they did uh, like the win. It looks like a good one. And uh, it'll be Lance Lippel to start off on offense for Mankato. He uh, takes the snap, hands the ball off. A little play action as that play goes up the middle across the 15, up to about the 16-yard line. That was uh, Jason Basil in on the carry right there, the six foot, 185-pound junior. That's uh, second down and seven for the Cougars. Whipple back under center. He takes the snap, hands it off. It goes up the middle. The guy out in the open field. He's at the 35, 40. He's drugged down at about the 43-yard line. And Jason Basil, once again, uh, the uh, big ball carrier right there, getting big gained up across midfield in the Pike Valley territory. He's drugged down at the uh, Pike Valley 47-yard line. It'll be first and 10. Two backs behind Lippel as he gets under center. He takes the snap, hands it off, it goes to Basil once again. He's across the 30, down to the 20. He's got one man to beat, and he's going to be drugged down out of bounds at the Pike Valley 14-yard line. Another first down for Mankato. Basil, once again, it looked like almost the same identical run. He just brought it out to the near side here, Brad. First down and goal to go for Mankato as they've got the ball on the Pike Valley 8-yard line. Whipple takes the snap, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself on the option. He gets across the 5. He's going to be stopped short of the goal line at about the 2-yard line. Steve, I'll tell you what was interesting about that. Lippel took the, took the snap, went back, stuck it in the base's gut, and actually the two of them ran together for about three or four yards, and uh, Basil went down because obviously they... Basil, the play blocker right there for his quarterback on the option. Second and goal from about the Pike Valley 2, and flags are going to blow this one dead. I think Mankato jumped right there, Brad. Well, number 72 on the uh, right side there for Mankato. They're going to back him up uh, five yards, but he's second and goal from the seven now. And it'll be a Lippel to keep it, and he gets across the five, back up to about the two-yard line. Pick up a, a five, it'll bring up third down and goal from the two-yard line. Melody and Johnson did a nice job there for Pike Valley. They got in there. Uh, Lippel's goal from the two for Mankato. Lippel back under center. Two backs behind him. He takes the snap, hands it off. It's to Basil. He's across the goal line. Touchdown, Cougars. Jason Basil right there with his fourth carry of the night, and he capitalizes with a touchdown right there from two yards out. I think Ben lost him that the block that he wanted to make earlier. <laughs> here. Should try to go ahead eight to nothing here in the early going. Lippel under center. He takes the snap, hands it off. It goes to Basil again, and he did not get in as he was stopped at the line of scrimmage. And our score will stay 6 to nothing. to Mankato leading Pike Valley here in the early going. 9.39 to go in the first quarter. It is Mankato 6, Pike Valley is 0. We'll be back to Mankato after this 30-second timeout on KR92 at KD Country Grove there in Cuba this Tuesday night. And we'll give you more information on that in the days to come, so stay right here with us for that. Jason Ortman will kick off for Mankato. And back deep for Pike Valley will be uh, Lethan Anuch for the Panthers. And here's the Mankato kick. It is a low line drive. End over end lands at the 20. Pike Valley picks it up at their own 12. It's across the uh, 15 down to about the, uh, the Pike Valley, about 19-yard line. So a good return right there by Nooch. I'll tell you what, they did a nice job to run back on that, Steve. Uh, First and 10 from their own 20. Jeremiah Johnson under center for the Panther. And is out of the shotgun. Two backs alongside of him. He takes the snap back at the 15. Takes the snap. Steps back to pass. And he had Justin Wallen open. And that pass is going to go incomplete up at the 25-yard line. Wallen had it and uh, just dropped it. Second and 10 for Pike Valley. And now it will be Johnson under center. He takes a snap. Big five-step drop. Looks for an open receiver. He's got Wallen in the open field here on the near side. The pass is made, and it's caught at the 25-yard line. Run out of bounds right there. Justin Wallen with a good pass. 9.04 to go here in the first quarter. Mankato leads Pike Valley 6 to nothing. It's third and five for the Panthers. Johnson under center. He's back to pass. Got an open receiver. The ball is caught and then dropped up at the Mankato 35-yard line. And the intended receiver right there was 
Trey Hurdick. He came up from his in position as a wide receiver and lined up to the far side as a wide out. He had the pass. See what they can get done. That'll be fourth down for Pike Valley, and they will have to punt. And a good high booming punt is going to land out of bounds at the 20-yard line. And that is where they will set up first and 10 with Mankato. Offense is Mankato. Lippold gets under center. He takes the snap, hands it off. It goes to the left side, and the play is going to go for maybe a yard. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. See who we had, and I believe Chad Osborne was the ball carrier that time around, and he went for maybe a half yard. Good uh, defensive uh, stand. -up. Back under center for the second and 10 play. He takes the snap. He fakes the handoff, keeps it himself on the option. He's out in the open field at the 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Mankato. Lance Lippold on the option right there. Kept it himself, found a big hole to the far side, Brad, and he was off to the races. He did a nice job. I don't know if maybe that play beforehand was setting that up, but he went down the line again, setting up the option, and the uh, defensive end out there to my belly had to play. It's now 12 0. Mankato, the lineup for the two point conversion. Lippel takes the snap, pitches it back. The ball is caught, and the receiver goes into the end zone for the conversion as he pitched it back to Chad Osborne, and Chad's got two points for the conversion. 8-13 to go in the first quarter. Lance Lippel for Mankato. Pike Valley will get the ball back on offense here with 8-13 to go in the first quarter, and to uh, kick it away will be Jason Ortman for Pike Valley. The ball lands back at the 15-yard line. It's touched by a Panther, and he has to pick it up and run with it, and he is going to be brought down up at the 15 a yard line and in on the uh, carry was Lethan Anuch for Pike Valley and that is where they will set up first and 10 with Pike Valley and the ball will be spotted at their own 15. They line up in the shotgun as Brad said Jeff Hammer is a wide receiver here to the near side. In fact it looks like they've got three wide receivers right there uh, lined up in a formation. Uh, they send Shane Langston in motion to the far side and the pass is going to be uh, incomplete over here on the near side as Jeremiah Johnson was trying to hit Shane Langston out in the flat and it uh, went same. Johnson back under center, second and 10 for Pike Valley. They line up with two running backs behind. Johnson takes the snap, he's back to pass. Rolls to his right, looking for an open receiver. He's got Langston out here in the flat up at the line of scrimmage. He gets to a couple of yards, maybe up to about the 18 yard line right there. Langston, third down and seven, Johnson out of the shotgun. Three wide receivers, three wide receivers here to the near side. The snap is low. Johnson has to pick it up and run with it himself. He's gonna get about a yard gain after he picked it up and uh, ran it himself up to about the 19 yard line. That'll be a gain of about one. That'll bring a fourth down and six. So Pike Valley will have to punt the ball away once again and Mankato will get it back on offense. Here's the snap. The punt is away. It's a short one. It's going to land out of bounds up at the Mankato 32-yard line. There's 6.21 to go here in the first quarter and Mankato for Mankato and both of them with a touchdown. Lipple takes the snap for Mankato. He hands it off and the ball carrier is going to be stood up and dropped right on his back across the 40 up to the Pike Valley about 39 a yard line and, we, and Pike Valley will recover the football. The ball was jarred loose on the hit. So Pike Valley gets the ball back on the turnover. It'll be Johnson under center. He takes a snap. Five-step drop. Looking for an open receiver. Has one downfield. It's going to be overthrown. The intended receiver was Trey Hurdig. He was out at the 25-yard line. Had a second intent for the Panthers. Johnson out of the shotgun. A wide out here to the near side and another wide out next to him. He pitches the ball. It goes to Shane Langston. He's across midfield at the 40. He'll gain about a yard on the play up across into Mankato territory at about the 39-yard line. They're down and eight. Johnson once again out of the shotgun. They line their wide receivers over to the far sideline. Johnson 
takes the snap out of the shotgun. He steps back three steps and very nearly intercepted. He had, I think, Trevor Burgess in mind on that reception. Burgess was up at the 20. Pike Valley will have to punt it away once again. Mankato doesn't bring anybody deep. They bring everybody back up to the line as if they were expecting some sort of a fake. But the ball is punted away, and it'll land out of bounds at the 12-yard line. That'll bring it up on the uh, out-of-bounds penalty up at about the 16 on special teams. It'll be level under center for Mankato. First and 10 from the 16. Here's the snap, the handoff. It uh, goes uh, to Chad Osborne. He's across the 15 up to about the Mankato 19-yard line, a gain of about five on the play. They're going to mark it at the ninth. Mankato leading Pike Valley 14 to nothing. Lippel back under center. Two backs behind him. He takes a snap, hands it off, and it goes up the middle. The handoff going to Jason Basil once again. He gets a pickup of about two yards up to about the 21, about the 22, and that'll bring up third down and five. Third down and five, here's the snap. Pitch back, goes to Basil. He's up the middle across the 25 and brought down close to a first down. I don't think he quite got it though, Brad. Basil up to close to the first down. He's, they're gonna mark it at about the 27 yard line. Hey, the hair on his chin, I think. First and 10 for Mankato. Lipple takes a snap. He options. It goes across the uh, 25 up to about the 26 yard line. It's going to be a loss on the play of about a yard. It'll bring up second down and 11. Justin Wall in defense down perfectly. Basically, Lipple. One on the play, second and 11 for Mankato. Lipple back under center. He takes a snap. Pitches it to the running back who is out of the open field and drug down uh, just across midfield at about the Pike Valley 39-yard line. And in on the carry was Chad Osborne. Brought the ball here to the uh, left side, near side of the field in front of the Mankato bench. Just lost his foot on the sideline. First and 10 for Mankato. Lippold back under center. Two backs behind him. He takes a snap. Hands it off. And it goes to the ball. Carry out in the open field. He's at the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown to Mankato. And a good running right there by Mankato. Mankato's Jason Basil, who gets his second touchdown of the night to make it 20 to nothing to Mankato. Jason Basil just got over 100 yards for the two-point conversion. Two backs line up in a single formation for Mankato, and Lippold hands it off. It goes to Chad Osborne. He's across the goal line, and it's good for a two-point conversion. 3:08 to go in the first quarter. It is Mankato. Jason Ortman will do the honors on the uh, kickoff. Pike Valley has a man deep back at the 10-yard line to accept this one. The 3:08 to go in the uh, first quarter. Here comes the kickoff from Ortman. It is a line drive kick. It is caught at the 22-yard uh, line by Pike Valley. The ball was dropped and then picked up, and they will get first and 10 on their backs behind Jeremiah Johnson. He's in there, quarterback once again for the Panthers, who need a score here on this possession to get back into this thing. Pitch back goes to the running back Jason Wallen. He's over on the far side and goes flying into his own man on the sideline. He's across the 20 and brought out of bounds at about the 25 yard line, I think. Justin Wallen with the carry right there. Second down and one, two eye backs behind. Jeremiah Johnson for Pike Valley. Mankato shows blitz, here they come. The handoff goes across the middle, across the 25, up to about the 27 yard line for Pike Valley. And let's see who we had in there on the carry. It was Justin Wallen, I believe. Second down, and about uh, an eight for Pike Valley. Jeremiah Johnson back under center for Pike Valley. Once again, Mankato shows blitz. They decide not to come. Johnson fakes the handoff. A little play action. He decides to keep it himself. He's across the 30, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds up at the uh, Pike Valley, uh, about 35-yard line on the option. Nothing. Johnson back under center once again. Line up with two eye backs behind Johnson. He takes the snap. Hands it off. Play goes up the middle. The running back changed directions, brought it to the near side, and uh, found nothing there. Shane Langston decided to turn around and go off to his right side, but he's still going to be stopped. It'll be a gain of about one. Third down and four for Pike Valley. Clock continues to march. A minute and a half to go. 
in the first quarter. Johnson, a little play action. He's flushed out of the pocket, avoids the sack, and he throws the ball upfield up across the 40-yard line. And I'm not sure if he was trying to hit somebody there, Brad, or if he was uh, trying to throw it away to avoid the sack. Just threw it away, but it looked like it was. But... For now, and Pike Valley will have to punt the ball away once again. It's a high snap taken by the punter who gets it away. Jeremiah Johnson, I think, is the punter out there. It uh, lands right at the goal line. It's going to go out of bounds at the back of the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And Gale had nobody back there at all. There was nobody back to receive. So obviously that's why he did kick a few. Lance Lippel back under center for Mankato. They got two backs behind him. He takes the snap, hands it off. It goes up the middle, a gain of about one on that carry. And in on the carry was Chad Osborne. He gets across the 15 up to about the 16-yard line, and it'll be second and nine. Second down and nine. And Lippel takes the snap. Hands it off. It goes up the middle once again. It'll be a gain of about four right there. And on the carry was Jason Basil. He gets up to about the 19-yard line. That'll bring up third Third and six, call it. Lippel that takes the snap, takes the handoff, decides to keep it himself. He's going to be shy of the first down by about a yard. He brings it up to about the 24-yard line. It'll be fourth down and about a yard to go. Fourth and one, Brad. <laughs> They're going to go for it here on fourth and one, and the line surges ahead across uh, about to the 25. They needed to make the 25 for the first down. It looks like they're going to be close. This is going to depend on the spot. And I think uh, Lippel kept it himself on that one. It will be first down yardage for me. Two backs behind Lippel as he gets under center. First and 10. Lippel takes a snap. Pitches it to Osborne here on the near side. He's across the 25 and a rumbling, bumbling stumble across the 30. Drug down out of bounds at the 33 yard line. Good running right there on second effort by Osborne. He did an outstanding job. Mike Valley was doing a good job on defense. They had doctors back there at the line. On that play right there, the ball on the 33 yard line of Mankato and Flag's going to come in and uh, one of the uh, guards right there jumped Brad I believe uh, Luke Latta was the one second quarter Mankato leads Pike Valley 22 to nothing on up a one back at a tight end for uh, Mankato the handoff comes to Chad Osborne once again and he's going to be brought down behind the line of scrimmage Chad Osborne was the ball carrier right there he tried to bring it here to the near side and he was wrapped up quick by a Pike Valley defender for Mankato they line up with two linebacks behind Lippel he's under center he takes the snap little play action as he's got an open receiver and it's going to be incomplete up at the 25 yard line intended for the uh, end of Brent Beck he came up from his end position the six foot 140 pound sophomore was out in the open there to do the punting is uh, Jason Ortman for Mankato here's the punt at the 15 he takes a snap and it is punted a good punt all the way back to the 15 it's going to drop at the goal line See if the Mankato defender right there was able to keep it out of the end zone as it was Lance Lippel that jumped on the ball. I didn't see the signal for a touchback. I don't think he... Uh, I don't know how that, how that works exactly. I know. And 10 and the ball on the one. Less than the one between the uh, one yard and goal line. Jeremiah Johnson takes a snap. He keeps it for himself on the quarterback sneak. He gets a couple out of that as he rumbles ahead to about the three yard line. It'll be second down. Johnson back under center for Pike Valley. He takes a snap, hands it off. Play goes right up the middle. Not much of a gain on the play right there for the Panthers up the middle to about the three-yard line. And in on the carry. Number six has Brandon Melby. He's out there now at runner, Brad. Johnson takes the snap. He hands it off. Play comes up the middle. We got a fumble on the play at the three yard line. See who has it. And I think I saw the referee signal Mankato football. They would have to make sure that uh, 
to get it at least halftime. Whipple takes the snap. He pitches the back. It goes to Osborne. He waltzes into the end zone. Touchdown, Mancato. As he ran it here to the near side, they stacked it to the 28 to nothing Mancato. They'll try to make it 30 to nothing here with a two point conversion. Lipple takes the snap. He pitches it back to Osborne. He's across the five and down across the goal line for the two point conversion. And it's now 30 to nothing. Mankato leading Pike Valley with 831. He's right here. That was tough there, that fumble and giving Mankato the uh, opportunity to score again. The best defense right now for Pike Valley would be a good offense. And here comes your kick from Ortman. It is a way up, booming high kick taken in the end zone by Pike Valley, and they're going to keep it right there. Jeremiah Johnson on the return right there, but he uh, keeps it in the end zone. First and 10 from the 15 for the Panthers. Jeremiah Johnson under center. He takes a snap. Mankato shows a little bit of a blitz, but they don't come. The handoff goes to the far side. It's going to be a gain of about five up to about the 20-yard line right there. Burgess. And that was uh, Trevor Burgess, 5'8", 125. Second and five for Pike Valley. Johnson back in her center, a single back behind. He takes a snap, now pitches it back. Oh, yeah. And across the uh, 20, up to about the... Uh, 23-yard line goes the uh, running back for Pike Valley, Shane uh, Langston. And that's <laughs> third and one for Pike Valley. One back behind Jeremiah Johnson. He takes the snap, hands it off, and I think uh, they got the first down right there. And on the uh, carry with Shane Langston, and he's got first down yardage up to uh, the 25-yard line. They, st they stack it here to the far side, does the Mankato defense. It looks like they're expecting some sort of run as uh, Pike Valley lines up with three wide receivers. The ball is uh, caught and then uh, popped loose on the hit right there. And it's going to go incomplete. Justin Wallen, I think, was the intended receiver right there. He had the ball before Pike Valley. Johnson back under center. He's got two backs behind in the eye formation. He takes a snap, hands it off. Play comes up the middle. To, uh, play goes around to the left side, I should say, across the 25 and up to about the 27-yard uh, line. Gain of a couple right there for Pike Valley. Third and eight for Pike Valley. Johnson back under center. Two backs behind him in the staggered split set. He takes a big five-step drop, and he uh, lobs it off here in the flat up at about the 30-yard line, and the reception is made by Trey Hurtig as he came up from his end position to play wide receiver, and it's going to be a well to punt it away for Pike Valley. There's the snap. Here's the punt, and it's going to land out of bounds back at the uh, Mankato 29, about 30 right now. First and 10 for Mankato from their own 30-yard line. Lippel under center, two eye backs behind him. He takes the snap. He pitches the ball back. It goes to the far side. It's across the 30, up to about the 34-yard line right there. Nathan Fishback, what uh, we got going on right now, Brad? <laughs> Beck. Takes the snap, he hands it off, it goes up the middle across the 35 down to about the 37 yard line. And that'll be a gain of about two on the two or three on the play, and that'll bring up uh, third down and about five. Brad, Brent Beck out there at quarterback, he's a six a foot, 140 pound sophomore. Two backs behind him. Beck takes the snap, he hands it off, it goes to Fishback. He's up the middle, he gets the first down up across midfield, and he's going to be brought down at the Pike Valley 38 yard line. First down uh, yarded by a couple of yards right there by Fishback. First and ten for Mankato. Lippel takes the snap, hands it off. The play goes up the middle. The ball carrier out in the open the field. He is at the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Mankato once again. And on the carry was Landon McDill. 5 -11. They line up for the two point conversion. Here's the handoff. I don't think he got in. See who he had in on the carry as they unpile everybody. And Katie Country, 94. As Mankato will kick it away. Mike Valley will get the ball back on offense. They have a man deep standing at his own goal line. That's Jeremiah Johnson. Here's the kickoff. It's a low line drive. It's going to land at the goal line. And it's going to bounce back in the back of the end zone. It'll be a touchback for Pike Valley. First down. 
First and 10 for Pike Valley from the 15. Uh, Johnson back under center for Pike Valley. He takes a snap, hands the ball off, and it goes up the middle across the 15 up to about the 18-yard line. And see who we had in on the carry, and that is a Shane Langston. Second and five for Pike Valley. They're at their own 20. Johnson takes a snap. Big drop as he gets back to pass. The uh, ball is thrown and caught. It is a complete reception up at the 28-yard uh, line. And Trey Hurtig from his end position making the reception. He's got first down a yardage up at the uh, Pike. Four for 11 to 19 yards. Trey's got two catches for 11 yards. First and 10 for Pike Valley. Johnson with two backs behind him. He takes the snap. Play action keeps it himself on the option. He's across the 30 and brought down by a host of Mankato Cougars at the uh, Pike Valley 32-yard line. A gain of a couple for Johnson. It'll be second and seven for Pike Valley. The ball up at their own 32-yard line. Johnson takes the snap. He pitches it back. The ball is caught, and it's going to go for a gain of about one yard on the play. And in on the carry was Trevor Burgess, the 5'8", 125-pound to do what he had to offer, eight yards. Third down, and Johnson back under center. They got a wide out. Actually, he lined up as a tight end to the far side and a back behind. Johnson takes a snap, pitches it back. It goes across the 35, and the ball carrier is going to be dropped out of bounds. It's Shane Langston, and it's going to be up to about the 36-yard line. Keep the ball moving keep it out of bounds. So fourth down and three, two backs behind Jeremiah Johnson. He's calling the play. The line of scrimmage, he gets under center, he takes the snap, pitches it, it goes to Langston, he's over to the left side, he's going to be dropped shy of the first down. Actually, he just lost his footing, he, he was running out of the sideline there, he was running towards the sideline, he had a blocker out there, trying to cut it up field. Line up as he gets under center and two eye backs behind, Donner under center, he takes a snap, pitches it back, Goes around to the right side, across the uh, midfield stripe, up to about the 37-yard line. And 32 is the ball carrier. For Mankato, so second down and 11, two backs behind. Donner, he pitches it back. And the ball carrier is not going to get anywhere. He's going to be brought down at the midfield stripe. He's got no game based on Douglas McGill in the 30th Landon McDill right there, 5'11", 143 pound of junior. Donner is back under center. Four Mankato with two backs behind, including a Billy Nelson. He hands off to Nelson. He is the ball carrier, and he's going to be wrapped up. So he gets across midfield up to about the 37-yard line, and it'll be a gain of a couple. Big your pardon, that was John Hunsinger. Five. And... And somebody called a timeout, and it's going to be charged to Mankato. Four seconds to go. Ortman is going to try to punt this from his own, or try to the field goal from his own 30. It doesn't even have the distance. It's going to land at the 10-yard line, but a good, uh, good try right there by Jason Ortman. And that brings us to the end of the first half. Mankato leads it over Pike Valley, 36 to nothing. We'll be back to uh, review the uh, first half of play right after this two-minute timeout on KR92 and KD Country 94. Valley is uh, going to get the ball first on offense. Back deep to accept this uh, kickoff is uh, Jeremiah Johnson for Pike Valley. Defense. Get on the scoreboard and keep it respectable. I beg your pardon, it's going to be John Huntsinger in there to uh, do the uh, kickoff for Pike Valley. Here is the kickoff. It's a long, booming kick taken by Johnson at his six-yard line, picks it up. He uh, takes it to the 10, across the 15, to the 25, and down to the 30, and brought out of bounds. Good return all the way back up to the 32-yard line by Johnson. Receivers here to the near side, including uh, Trey Hurtig, as uh, the main wideout, it would appear, up on the line of scrimmage. And we have flags fly. This play's going to be whistled dead. We had a motion somewhere in the line. Well, no. Or Actually, something. Uh, Mankato called the time. Make, it appeared 
that uh, they did get the snap on get on the board. Onside kick, maybe. And here we go, first and ten. Mankato lines up, or Pike Valley lines up with three wide receivers. Johnson back to pass. The ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage, and I'm not sure who got uh, their hand up there to block that, but it looks like it was tipped. Johnson back under center. They line up with an eye back and a tight end to the far side. Johnson takes the snap, five-step drop. Hits the receiver over on the near sideline, or the far sideline, I should say. Third and one for Pike Valley. Johnson with two eye backs behind him. He gets under center, takes the snap. Quarterback a sneak, and he gets the first down and more as he's going to be dragged down by the Mankato defense all the way up the Mankato 34-yard line. So again, a first down plus about five more. So that'll be first and 10 for Pike Valley at the Mankato 34-yard line. Johnson back under center, takes the snap, hands it off. Play comes here to the near side. Ball carrier got tripped up. Looked like he might have got his feet tangled up there. Going to be... Burgess on the carry, and he's up to the 31 Mike Valley. Two eye backs behind. Uh, Jeremiah Johnson, he gets under center, takes the snap, takes the handoff, keeps it for himself, rolls to the left, out of the right. He passes it, it goes incomplete up at about the 10 yard line. And see who, I, I'm not sure who that was intended for. Uh, Might have been Langston. Third and six for Pike Valley from the Mankato 31-yard line. Johnson back to pass once again. Dumps it off here on the near side. It's going to be a shy of the first down, but the catch was made by Trey Hertig. And that's going to be up at about the 26-yard line. He's going to be at a yard short of the first down. That's a good block for Pike Valley back to keep that play, keep that Fourth and a long two for Pike Valley. The handoff goes up the middle. It's going to be shy of the first down, I believe, by maybe about a half a yard. See where they spot it. On the carry was Trevor Burgess. And Mankato. It's the first and ten for Mankato. Quarterback under center. He takes the snap. Fakes the handoff. Keeps it for himself. He's out in the open field. That's Chris Donner. And he's going to be brought down all the way up at the 29-yard line of Pike Valley. Chris Donner on the uh, option right there. Took it off to the right side. Got a couple of good points. First and 10. Donner takes the snap. He hands it off. Play goes up the middle. The ball carrier is tripped up at the 26-yard line after a gain of about three on the play. That's over here to the side line on the Mankato side. Donner once again lines up. Two backs behind him. He takes a snap. Hands it off. It uh, goes to McDill once again. Up the middle across the uh, 25 up to close to the 24-yard line. About a third down right there. Be a third down. Donner back under center for this third and four. Donner takes the snap. Pitches it back. It goes to Hunsinger. He's around to their side, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds, shy of the first down by about a yard, up at the, about the 21-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down at about 10 yards Fourth and one. Donner back under center. He takes a snap, keeps it himself, and he looks like he has first down a yardage across the 20, up close to the 19-yard line, as Donner kept it for himself on the quarterback keeper. Pike Valley 19 yard line and we've got 7.35 to go in the third quarter and this play is going to be blown dead and in fact it never happened as uh, they didn't even get the snap off before the whistles came in and this is going to be off uh, legal procedure, a motion penalty against uh, Mankato. That'll back him up. Donner gets back under center with Billy Nelson and I back behind him along with Hunt Singer. Play uh, goes up the middle, a handoff. It went to Billy Nielsen right there, and he gets about a yard on the play. Uh, actually, they're not going to get Singer, or I beg your pardon, McDill and Nielsen are the uh, backs. Donner takes a snap, and he's going to be brought down for a sack and a loss on the play of about four yards back at the 29-yard uh, line. And the quarterback sack, is uh, they're going to mark it down as a loss of about four out there. Very dangerous. Third down. And a very long 17. They almost see him again. He's looking for an open receiver and had one, but uh, didn't quite get it in the right place. Uh, maybe a little bit of a mix-up there in the pattern there, Brad. It was in... 
intended for Chad Osborne, I believe. Donovan was hit and hit hard just as he let go of that. For Mankato, they're going to go for it here on fourth down. The ball at the 27-yard uh, line. Donner out of the pocket. He uh, takes a snap and tries the pass, and it was nearly uh, caught by Aaron uh, Skudlerik. And it goes incomplete, and Pike Valley gets the ball back on downs, first and ten. First and ten for Pike Valley. Johnson back out there, quarterback. He takes a snap, pitches it back. Ball carrier loses his feet as he tried to turn the corner here on the uh, near side. And Brandon Melby, the ball carrier right there for Pike Valley. Johnson back in her center, two backs behind him. He takes a snap, hands it off. Play goes up the middle, about a loss of two on the play right there. And on the carry once again was Brandon Melby. Clock continues to move, 4.50 to go here in the third quarter. Johnson back in the center, we have uh, Wisks out of the game. And Burgess checks back in. Third down and 12 for Pike Valley. Johnson takes the snap, he's back to pass. Big seven step drop, has the receiver open out in the flat on the far side. The ball is gonna go sailing out of bounds and incomplete. And it's gonna be fourth down for Pike Valley. They line up in punt formation. Herdig calls the snap, he uh, bobbles it, now gets control, gets it away barely. It lands just beyond midfield on the Mankato side of the 40 yard line. Takes a Pike Valley bounce all the way back to the 33 yard line. That's where Mankato will set up first and 10. Well, again, Mankato was, had nobody back on the run. Billy Nielsen lines up along with uh, Landon McDill as the eye backs. We have a fumble on the play on the snap. See who's got it. No signal yet from the officials, but there was a fumble as bodies were flying and scrambling to get hold of it. Mankato is going to maintain possession here. Dietz is a 5'9", 120-pound junior in there, a quarterback with two backs behind him. He pitches it back to uh, Billy Nielsen, who brings it here to the near side. He's across midfield, a run out to, at midfield is about the 40-yard line. It's going to be about uh, three, three and a half yards shy of the first down, but uh, good running right there by the uh, freshman, Billy Nielsen. Deese gets back under center, takes a snap, pitches it back to Nielsen, who takes it to the far side. He's got the first down and more. He's going to be a run out of bounds up at the Pike Valley, uh, 32, about 31 yard line it looked like. John Deese to carry territory. Deese back under center. John takes the snap. A little bit of a mix up on the exchange as he handed it off. It's going to be still go as a positive gain on the play. Goes as a gain of about two on the play, second down and eight for the Cougars. He's back under center. He takes a snap, pitches it back to Nielsen, who bobbles it, now picks it up, and he's going to be dropped for a loss. Back behind the 35, back at uh, about the 36 uh, yard line. It's going to be a loss of a couple yards on the play. It'll bring up third down and about 11. Even though that was a loss. Third down and 11 with the ball on the Pike Valley 36 yard line for Mankato. John Deeds gets under center. He takes a snap. He's back to pass. You haven't said that much about Mankato tonight, but the ball is caught all the way over the 18 yard line by a Mankato. And in on the reception, Aaron Skolarik right there. So the ball is up at uh, the Pike Valley 18 yard line after that big reception right there. Deeds back under center for Mankato. He takes a snap. Hands it off, the play goes up the middle, across the 15, down to about the 13-yard line. Kevin Loomis, 5'6", 125-pound, a freshman, the running back out there right now. The second down and about six to go for Mankato. Dietz takes the snap, hands it off. It goes to Loomis once again. He's across the 10, brought down at about the seven-yard line. Should be uh, just about enough yardage for the first down, Brad. And that'll be, if it is... Deeds back at her center for Mankato, two backs behind him. He takes the snap, keeps it for himself on the keeper, tries to uh, run it right up the middle. Looks like he got positive yardage up to about the five yard line there, Brad. It'll be a second down. I'm in trouble when Brad comes over and does a game with me. Second and five, second and goal from the five yard line for Mankato. He takes the snap, hands it off, play goes up the middle. I don't think they got in on the carry. Let's see who he had, I think it was uh, who we got coming out of a playing experience. Here's a, uh, 
have the comfortable lead in front of Pike Valley. Dietz takes uh, the snap. Ball is fumbled. See if uh, Mankato is maintained or if Pike Valley will pick it up. And the official uh, has not uh, signaled yet. I think Mankato kept it. So, fourth and goal from the three-yard line for Mankato. Dietz takes the snap, hands it off, play goes up the middle, and touchdown to Mankato. Wendon McDill with the touchdown. That brings us to a Mankato 32. Pike, which, uh, if you're Pike Valley, you don't care about that. All you care about is scoring at least getting on the board. Here's the two-point conversion. Pitchback goes to Nielsen after the snap. He uh, strolls into the end zone here on the near side and two points for Billy Nielsen. And that brings the score to uh, Mankato 44, Pike Valley nothing. Kick. Mankato will kick off with the wind. Out there is John Huntsinger to uh, kick it off. Here's your kick. End over end taken by Johnson at the 18-yard line. He caught it, fell backwards, and they're going to blow it dead right there. And uh, Pike Valley will take over. Jason Wilhite will check in for Mankato on defense. 11 minutes to go in the game. And a new quarterback and so on for Pike Valley. We'll get uh, names and so on to you here in a moment. Out there at quarterback is uh, Kyle Heltney, 5'4", 100-pound freshman for Mankato, leading at 44 to nothing. Pike Valley sets up second and 10. There was no gain on that last play. Heltney takes the snap, hands it off. It goes across the 15 and no gain on the play. And we had a third down and 12 for Pike Valley. Heltney back under center with two wide backs behind him in a split set. And a fumble on the play and Pike Valley is going to keep it once again. It's uh, back at the 10 yard line. And cut down in 16. And Pike Valley once again will have to punt. Ball is bobbled on the goal line to get the punt away. It lands between the 30 and 35 yard line and uh, will uh, take a Pike Valley bounce all the way out of bounds up between the 26 and 27 yard line. And that's where Mankato will set. First and 10 for Mankato. They're back out there on offense. Uh, and ball carrier takes it across the middle. And it's going to be up to uh, near uh, midfield. Will Height was the uh, line. Donner back under center. He takes the snap, hands it off. Play goes up the middle. It's going to be first down a yardage for Mankato on the carry across midfield up to about the 37 uh, yard line. Jason Will Height once again. The uh, ball. Back under center is Donner. He takes the snap, hands it off. It uh, goes up the middle, and the ball carrier is going to be stopped the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It's going to be, uh, once again, Jason Wilhite on the carry. The second down and 10. Chris Donner out there, quarterback. He takes the snap. Looked like there might have been a fumble on the play, but I think Mankato jumped on top of it right there, Brad, to maintain possession. It'll be third down. From the uh, Pike Valley 35-yard line. Flags come in. This play's going to be whistled dead. The officials confer at the 35. See what the, this uh, call is about. This is going to be motion. 50-yard field. That's what it is. So third down at 14. Uh, Donner takes a snap, pitches it back, it goes to Will Height. He's across midfield, back up into Pike Valley territory, across the uh, 35 and to about the uh, 33-yard line. Well shy of the first down. He brings his uh, team to the line of scrimmage, looking at a fourth and seven from the Pike Valley 33-yard line. And Donner takes a snap, hands it off. It goes to Nielsen. He breaks two tackles. He's at the 10-5. Touchdown, Mankato, and that is going to be your ball game. Boy, Nielsen got the ball, broke a tackle. He was just shy of the first down marker. Got the first down and more as he scores the touchdown. And that makes your football game the final. As uh, 50 to nothing, Mankato the winner over Pike Valley here tonight. We'll be back to uh, tell you all about this one after this two-minute timeout. Your final score once again, Mankato 50, Pike Valley nothing. Back after this two-minute timeout on KR92 and Katy Country 94.
Thank you.